We are very blessed to have major advancements in bullet technology and loads for handguns. One of the ones we've covered over the years is Black Hills Ammunition Honey Badger. And the Honey Badger is named that because it just don't care what you shoot it into, it's always going to perform. What is the Honey Badger? Well, it is not a hollow point, but it kind of performs like a hollow point. It's actually a machined bullet out of copper, so it's a lighter weight projectile, gives you a little bit more velocity, and they have these flutes that really act as a way to really cut through and really perform. The newest in the Honey Badger lineup is the 10 millimeter. And because these bullets are machined, they can really customize the shape and the size of the flutes to optimize it for that caliber. So the 10 millimeter, 115 grain bullet, you know we gotta do it. We're gonna get it on the range and we're gonna test it. The 10 millimeter is popular because it is a more powerful option as far as a semi-automatic cartridge goes. But the thing is, you have to load it with the right ammo. And this Honey Badger 10 millimeter, I'm pretty excited about because Honey Badger is pretty versatile. It kind of does double duty where it could be a self-defense load, it could be an animal defense load for carrying in the, in the deep woods. What's cool about this is it's a 115 grain bullet. So it's a lighter weight bullet, which means it's gonna be going faster but probably a little bit less recoil than what you might have on other 10 millimeter loads. We've got some gel and we've got a fun target down here to test it. So let's load her up and see what we get. All right, that looked pretty good, but before we go down and check out what we got, I have a fun target set up, a big jug of water. I just wanna show you the energy of this round it's about 30 feet. Let's see what we get. All right, shot it, looked good. Let's go check it out. I love shooting gel because it really tells a story. All right, entered in a little bit low, that's on me, but went all the way through this 16 inch block in another probably four to five inches. So 20, 21 inches of penetration on this. And we did catch the bullet, so let's take a look at what this bullet looks like because this being an all copper bullet, typically the bullet is not going to deform. Yep, and there you go. All 115 grains still there. You can reload that bullet, it's perfect. Now, let's go look at the water and let's see what it did. Okay, five gallon water jug filled up and there is no water left. Entered here and then exited here. You can see this exit wound is significant. And just a way to really show the power of what this round does. I love that they're loading Honey Badger in 10 millimeter now. It gives you a lot of options, whether you're carrying on the streets or in the woods. <laughs> 